Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today I thought I'd do a review on this product that I'd seen on, I think it was Facebook or Insta, but it's a gel polish remover. So I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, but it's like a blue. So yeah, I thought, I, I thought I'm gonna test that one. So what I've done, put some gel polish on. So this one's got base one color and a top. This has got base two polish, gel polish and a top coat. This one's got base three layers of gel polish and a top coat. And this one has got base one color and then a sprinkle glitter on and top coated this one. So I just wanted to see how it tackles gel polish. So it does say, remove soak off gel polish. What's it say? Um, for professional use, please take care of your skin. Don't want to put on your body like you would. Soak off gel remover works by gently softening the nail color to remove with ease. So that's what it is. So let's paint this on and it does say 10 minutes. So just put it on. Try not to get that near that skin. So I'm just gonna leave that now for 10 minutes and see what happens. So I'm not gonna sit here with my hands. I'm just gonna, I'll sit here for a bit and see if what happens, but can you see what's happening already? Need a cute cup stick. You see? Can you actually see what's going on there? That's just mental. I actually see it bubbling. And I can't, there's no pain. It, I don't know if it's touched my skin or anything like that, but. All right, so that has been on just over a minute, one minute 10 so far. So I'm just gonna leave that and I will come back in. I'll come back in another two minutes. I won't make you watch it, but I'll come back in a bit so this is three minutes now this has been on right so that is now five minutes so i don't know this this one that's got three on it seems to be coming off a lot faster than this one that's only got one layer on it. So this is 10 minutes later. So I'm just using a cute cup pusher shirt just to scrape off that gel polish. So after 10 minutes, it's not really coming off like in one piece it is coming off but not 
tool good so I've just got this coarse buffer and I'm just gonna whip over that just to get that excess off so this nail had the base coat a coat of gel polish colour and the top coat so that did come off pretty good Just keeps colouring my nails. I've been doing my gardening and stuff, so they're all sorts of oh, and fake tan. So this is the base coat, two coats of colour and the top coat. So this one it took the top layer off but it won't go no further. So I did add a bit more of the gel vanish or magic remover as it's called. This one had the three layers of gel polish, the base and the top coat and this didn't barely touch it at all it was solid underneath so again I applied some more of that magic remover <coughs> excuse me and this is the one that's got the base one colour glitter and the top coat so this one it did bring the glitter off but not the underneath colour so I've got to say I'm a bit disappointed with this product to be honest. I just I still don't think you can beat your acetone cotton pad and your acetone and your tin foil, sorry. So I'm now going back to the one that I did a bit earlier on and see if it's gonna take anything else off, which it does. Gotta give it that. So again I'm just gonna fly over with that buffer. Give them other nails a little bit of a chance to catch up. I mean, if you were at home doing your own nails, not doing your own nails, but you want to remove them before you go back to the salon, yeah, I think this product's great, but I think in a salon, I do think the acetone would be faster. I don't know, I just, I don't like this product, I don't think. But if, like I say, if you're at home, it's a lot. You just keep topping it up as you're taking layers off. Like this one, it still don't want to come off. So this one, one we're free. So it has gone through to the base. But it's not, again, come off in like it should, I don't think. So I've just got a, a rougher file and just got to try and get that that's stuck fast does look like I'm being rough on my nails but I'm not, I'm, I'm being pretty gentle. And this one, again, yeah it's starting to come off. But all in all, I think it must have took about 16 minutes, 17 minutes from start to finish and that's from like putting it on removing some of it and then retopping it up about 16 minutes which again if you had acetone and that I don't think it'd take that long yeah it's a bit more of a messy procedure but and a few more products but yeah but yeah these are done would I buy it again probably not um I'm not really keen on it but thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in my next one bye